going on YouTube? It's your boy Legendary E, and we are back here for another video, and of course we're back here with the Spurs series. If you guys missed yesterday, I uploaded two videos, my Hawk series and a rebuild. Go ahead and check that out. Today I will be doing one video, tomorrow we'll come back with a double upload, and then we'll continue to upload daily for the rest of this week. Regardless, man, I hope you guys have been enjoying y'all's break, y'all's winter break. My, my birthday was a few days ago, so wish me a happy birthday in the comment section below. But today we get the off season, man. Uh... I'm still not sure if I want to make this the last season with my Spurs because I am trying to get heavily into that Hawk series. As well as some NBA videos. Watch out for those this week. But yeah, man. Obviously, this is the final roster for uh, this past season. You guys already know what they're John Tate Murray. Kid Cunningham is easily becoming our best player. Michael Porter Jr., RJ Hampton, Keldon Johnson, Mo Bamba, Jemias Ramsey, Lonnie Walker IV, Onyeka Nkongu, Obi Toppin, Lucas Manic, PJ Tucker, Zaire Williams, Quint, I don't even care. These guys aren't coming back. So it really, it, it really doesn't matter. Now, I do got to say, I don't plan on targeting a big name for age because the only person who would make sense is Kevin Durant since he does have championship experience. Nobody else here is going to change anything. Like, that's the thing. Maybe we can up the bench a little bit, but like, getting a Jimmy Butler, maybe. No one else really helps anything because all the young guys here are showing talent. Now, we do got to make a decision. Are we bringing back Mo Bamba or are we rocking with Onyeka? It really just depends on how on what it's looking like, but player retirements, of course, we got Melo, Iggy, CP, Trevor Reza, Marvin Williams, and yeah, nobody else that we really care about. We already know that Melo and CP are making the Hall of Fame. Pretty obvious. Doc Rivers also retires too. So do Melvin. Oh uh, yeah, I, I don't really care. Just Doc Rivers, to be honest. And yeah, CP and Melo obviously in the Hall of Fame, both amazing careers. CP and Melo also get their jerseys retired. League meetings, let's leave the NBA alone. <laughs> yeah, let's just leave it alone. All right, so draft lottery. I think we got the Clippers pick, right? We got that Clipper pick, right? Yeah, we have... So we're looking at the seventh pick, maybe. And we walk away with the eighth pick. I'm not drafting anybody with that pick. Like, that's not going to help us at all. Uh, I'm I'm cool with our coaching staff. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with our staff. Let's get straight into it. This episode don't, don't need to be that long, to be real with you. They got us getting... Romel Lloyd Jr. Don't know who that man is. Imani Bates is who I actually want. But let's see something. What can I get for that eighth pick? I just want to see. I mean, we, we got some cap room. We got some cap room here. Um, Forney and nah. And these are the offers that, that be coming up that just makes me want to just take a draft pick instead because at least we can develop them. Now, we could add in a CJ McCollum. Shooting guard is lacking, but Hampton has so much more upside. Like, Hampton is Hampton is so good. Like, he had a really, really good season, so I don't want to take away his starting spot. Like, this season, he put up 17. He actually shot respectable from the field. I don't want to take away his spotlight, his spotlight at Zaire Williams in the eighth pick. Because Zaire will be getting some PT this season. And our bench is even good. Honestly, let's hop into the draft. Let's see who falls there. Because you honestly never know. And you see, this is what I'm talking about. You honestly never know. Jonathan Kaminga, welcome to the squad, bro. Imani Bates obviously is really nice, but this guy was ranked third. I've, I've, I've actually heard of him a little bit. Let's, let's go ahead and let's take him. What's overall? He's an 80 overall, so... That's a dub. He's not going to be starting because we got K Cunningham, but like, that's still a pretty nice dub for us. Uh, the twentieth pick. Now, with all right, he he's going to he's going to Texas Tech, so I actually know who he is, and I'm going to take him because he's solid. All these guys can still be traded, so like, <laughs> that's the best part. Like, all these guys can still be traded. It's just better than like getting nothing. What are the offers? They they really want to trade away Fournier's contract, huh? Yeah, I would too. But who's here? Anybody that I've possibly heard of? No. I know Terrence Shannon is. He goes to Tech too. But I guess with this, all right, this pick we can trade it because I don't. That that's just another body on the team that we don't. There we go, and let's send to the end. Not a bad draft for us. We got Kaminga. Nimari, Nimari Burnett, not bad. We're bringing everybody back. Because like I said, the, this, this is a trade piece. Like, I'm not just going to let somebody walk away. Qualifying offers to all these guys. 
We might lose. We might lose Lonnie because if he gets an offer, I, I probably won't match it. To be honest, he didn't really even get tick this season, anyways. So Luka Doncic is here. Everyone's trying to get him. The Mavs will probably match whatever he gets, anyways. Trey Young is here. Restricted. KD. Like I said, there's no reason to go after him. Kyrie Irving. Now, if I remember, whenever Kyrie, we requested his his trade. I think the Spurs were on that list. I, I'm not really sure, but he got no offers. And Durant is out of there too. We can offer Kyrie. We can offer Kyrie. Now, the only problem with us doing this, that is a clear upgrade from DeJounte Murray. He becomes our sixth man. We got him for two seasons on a great contract. So, it would be Kyrie Hampton, Cade... Porter, and whoever we got, we got to send it up. The bench would be DeJounte Murray, Burnett, or it actually, it would be Keldon Johnson as shooting guard, Kaminga. This could be a disgusting lineup if we play it right. I'm going after Kyrie. Like, I'm going after Kyrie. And, like, like because I've always said it. I don't think that DeJounte Murray is really even the answer. Like, he doesn't provide scoring, but he's just a great utility player for us. But to upgrade to a Kyrie Irving, who's won a championship, that would be great. Zach Levine would be nice, but like I said, man, Hampton, Hampton's scoring potential is still great. The one thing that, I, that I, I would like to actually see is with us getting some of these players, that just helps out our bench, even if they don't start, because I don't plan on, getting, I don't plan on giving anybody a long-term contract anyways. All right, so let's first check out on Mo Bamba. What's he looking at? He's restricted, which means I'm not paying him a cent until somebody's until someone offers something. But should should I, should I go after one of these guys? Levine to the Lakers, or oh, he don't really want to go there because they're, they're, they're low on Kyrie Irving, bro. That's interesting. That's really really interesting. Now we're gonna lowball the hell out of Kyrie as well. But, yeah, he's insulted. He's not He's not even rocking with us anymore. But, yo, Kyrie would be... Oh, the only problem is, like, Spurs fans are so loyal to 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 DeJounte Murray. I'm not. I'm more loyal to RJ Hampton because of his scoring potential. And he, and, he, and he plays great defense as well. But to have DeJounte off the bench, wouldn't that be pretty good as well? I mean, our backup, of course, would be Zach Levine because, once again... He's, he's younger, he, he's less money, he's still a great overall. He will still end up being our highest overall on the squad, which is not bad for us as well. Who else? All right, what, what, what veterans are here? Because I, I do want to look at veterans as well. Only problem is, like, a veteran point guard, like, there's a bunch of them. Goran Dragic, he's, he wouldn't play, like, at all. He wouldn't get any kind of pin. He, he wouldn't get any kind of minutes at all. Blake Griffin would be fun, but Porter, I'm still, I still want to start start Porter over him. Which is off of him? The Lake, the Lakers are trying to get, a, are trying to get a squad again. I peep game. I know we all are doing that. I mean, Goran Dragic makes the most sense, and that's just from a mentorship standpoint. Before we commit to anything, I'm not renouncing Mo Bamba. Relax. Now, oh, Kyrie hates us. Kyrie hates us now. Well, I'm still going to go after Zach Levine. I mean, adding an exact Levine, he's still young. But he, he on this team, he will still be a veteran because he'd be 27. And he'd still be a great addition. So, us getting Zach Levine, that still works out. The only reason why I wanted Kyrie because, you know, Kyrie was more, you know, Kyrie, you know. Fuck. You know, Kyrie, he's won a championship. But if that's how Kyrie wants to play, he hates us now, it's cool. I shouldn't have low-balled him the first time. But you know what? That's my fault. Drew Holiday is a great addition as well. I'm cool getting Drew as well. So I'm not really going to trip no matter what happens. Of course, like I said, none of these are going to be long-term deals. But getting a Drew Holiday would be great because I still feel like this team can win. Like, we're still a really good team. Like, we're still a really, really good team. So I feel like we're just a couple of pieces away. And I guess that just starts off with the bench, right? So we'll look at getting Drew Holiday. Man, who can I go after? I want a big name guy. DeAndre Ayton. 
the Suns are going to match no matter what. I don't getting going after Mitch Robinson. Mobamba is better because he, he can at least stretch the floor. Blake Griffin and Drew off the bench. Two two veteran guys off the bench. Oh, that that could that could work. That might work. That might work. Before I do anything, let me check out the value on Luca Semantic real quick. Yeah, all these trades are garbage. Like all those trades are garbage. I mean, the only one that I would consider doing is just trading him for draft picks. Because at the end of the day, like, that is kind of what we need. I feel like I'm, mm, the Hawks are kind of good. But so are the Grizzlies. Uh, he's not going to play on the Grizzlies. So he can just go there. Honestly, I'm cool. I want to try and get Zach, but if Zach's not coming here... It's really whatever. I would take Drew Holiday. Yeah, Zach Levine accepted another offer to the Bulls. I'm cool with, with, with getting Drew Holiday. Like, I'm not tripping over that. All right, so who signed so far? Kevin Durant went to the Knicks. Kyrie back to the Nets. So nothing too crazy, but we did pick up Drew Holiday. And I don't think that that's a bad move for us. Next up, next up. We got, we got a little bit of money left. I can actually sign Blake, Blake Griffin. And run him at backup power forward. Because Porter does space the floor out. Which makes him such an insane weapon for us. And his overall weapon can go up while Blake goes down. So off the bench. Our bench could be actually insane. Because right now we have Drew Holiday. He'll be, a, he'll be a backup point guard for us. Then it'll be Keldon Johnson as shooting guard. Kaminga. Blake Griffin. Or Blake can be the backup center. Like We got so many options of how we can run our lineups. Which just makes it so much more dangerous. Hmm. We can still pull up, pull up with Mo, but the but a superpower bench is just Blake, one year, and we're gonna overpay him. Actually, I really don't want to. How about that? One year deal, straight up one year deal. You and Drew pull up for one year. I have to renounce Mo Mo Bamba. I really like Mo Bamba. I really do. Now, there are a few things about Mo that has not been good for us. The biggest thing, like, his his plus minus is always great whenever he's playing. And, I mean, he, he's a great player. He, he's an 82 overall. He's 24. 52 games. but 47 games. Shit, do I want to give up Mo? I re I'd rather renounce Lonnie than Mo. Because I'm right, right now, I'm not even game planning for, like, Lonnie to be on the team. Like, so I guess if we can do it that way, all right, we, we can. Okay. I like this. Now, like I said, Drew will go to backup point guard. So he be our backup point guard. Yeah, we're still going to be starting Porter over Blake. Or Blake is starting at center for us. Regardless, we're going to have a great team. Like, we're going to be running a weird lineup. But I, I think in the end, it actually works. So right now, like, 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 like I said, let's focus on some of these veteran guys. And this is just because in real life, you would want veterans on your team, like, always. And a good veteran is Goran Dragic. Um, Somebody else that we could pick up. He's not even in the league anymore. Mm, yeah, nobody else here would be a great veteran for this team. I mean, Ru I mean Rubio would. But that's just the point guard. But for right now, I think we're actually solid. Ramsey's about to match something with them. How much are they paying him? See, I'm not matching any of these deals. Why would I match this? That, that that's not good. We have our we we already got a backup point guard. He wouldn't have even played here, so I'm not gonna match it. They can take him if that's what they want to do. I don't think that's a good move for us to actually match. Now I am gonna go ahead and pick up some more like other players as well. Let's see players that that just fit the mold that we need. Bring back Brent Forbes. He won't really play, but he's still going to be on the roster. I mean, other than that, I, I will probably match Mo 
four years, 78 mil. That's a lot. That's about, that's, that's like 19 and a half mil a season. We'll see if he takes it. I, I might match it. See, he's, he's, he's looking. They up that hoe? Dude, I don't know if I can match this offer. Now, with the Jazz, I can do a signing trade. Who do the Jazz have that I, I'd even want? Because I'd be down to do, I'd be down to do a signing trade. But who do I even want on y'all's team? Like, this team is pretty, pretty cheeks if you ask me. Um, thing is, we don't really need him. Like, I feel like Onyeka could really. This is messing up with our chemistry, and we and we are coming off of a great year. But Mo, but Mo Bamba missed most of that year, anyways. And like I said, I'm not really into paying every single player like that. Mo has incredible potential, and he can space the floor, which makes him such a lethal weapon for us. But to pay him that much a year, this is 86 million over four years. That's 22 million dollars a year, and I I gotta figure out if he's really worth it. He is a he is a nice stretch five. He needs to add some weight to his frame. I, I don't know. Over his career, he's averaging 9.6 points. I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, he, he had a great year, but he, he missed most of it. He only made 50 games, and he got injured. And he hates it here anyways. You guys, you guys, you guys are going to hate me for, like, not bringing him back, though. You guys would be pissed and not bringing me and, and not bringing him back. Do I, do I match his contract? I am really like overthinking this. I'm just thinking like, do I do I match this? Is who's I wish I could see who's still out there. Is Mitchell Robinson still out there? The the Sun signed him. Which means DeAndre Aiden is still out there. Right? He's on the Grizzlies. Why did the Grizzlies pick him up if they got Drummond? I, I don't I don't know. Stupid team. Dang. I mean, we're gonna be good no matter what because we still got Obi Toppin. And Blake Griffin could just play that backup center position. He, he's stronger than Bamba anyways. And Onyeka can just run it. But then our bigs just become super small. Damn, Mo, You're putting me in a bad situation. He, he had a great season for the time that he actually played. 9.5 plus minus. Would bring him back. Yeah, that 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 was the best thing for us, which is just bring him back. All right, well, I guess that's all that we're going to really do for right now. I think we built a really, really good team. Let's get straight into player progressions. But I, I really like it. We're going to have Drew Holiday and Blake Griffin come off of the bench for us, and they're going to be insane. I, I'm pretty sure that their overalls will drop a little bit, but they're going to be insane nonetheless. Cade goes up to an 87. Murray, 85. Blake Griffin stays at a 85. Porter's up to an 84. 83 for Hampton. Drew's down to an 83. It's not bad. It's not bad. Like we got options on how we want to play this team. So I'm not gonna trip. And this might be the year we can actually compete for a championship. Last year we won 55 games. We we let some guys go, but like I don't think that those guys were such important parts of the team. Like Jemias Ramsey is gone. Lon Lonnie Walker is he's gone. He didn't really even get ticked like that last season. So I'm not gonna trip. Like I'm not really gonna trip over that. Uh, I don't care about the summer league. All right, last season we were the second seed. We can we can be very very good. Like, we can be very, very good. Even better, to be honest. And our bench is actually insane now because we got, like, we got veteran guys coming on off of that thing. As long as they don't mess up what, what, what we got going, it's cool. Let's fix his, his passing a little bit because he does everything else right. He's up to an 85. Porter. Basketball 101. Good, good, good. Who else can I really fix, though? I mean, everybody else... They do everything so well. I guess basketball one-on-one can be used for, for, for anyone. Um, 
you can mingle in there a little bit. Let's get it. We gotta we, we gotta cut a player. Who getting cut? Honestly, I'm gonna be honest. This this guy, he it has to be him. Can I I trade him though? I'd much rather get something for him. But he wasn't gonna play, like, no matter what happened. And he has no value, because even Burnett, we're gonna be throwing him in the G League. So at least he has some value. I'd like Clarkson, but we ain't gonna get him. We're gonna we gonna take these picks from uh, you know, the boys in Cleveland. Belichick move real quick. All right, let's get into this season. Like I said before, man, they and they had to line up the exact way I want it. I want the young guys in there. It's DeJounte Murray, Hampton, Cade Cunningham, Michael Porter Jr., Mo Bamba, the bench is Blake Griffin, Drew Holiday, Keldon Johnson, Arneke Onkongu. Okay, he's getting minutes. Oh, yeah, we got to go back to the nine, man. It's not the playoffs anymore. Timmy. Now, the stats ain't going to be nothing special. I, I already know that. Like, the stats aren't going to be anything special at all. Uh, I do want to get him some minutes because he has value, you know? But whose minutes do I, do I really snatch from? Dang, and he's, he has potential. We're going to change his number. Like, don't even trip over that. All right, how do I do this? The Spurs have always been deep. And they've always, like, so no one's stats on the Spurs have ever really stood out. So I guess this is actually fair to run it like this. Everyone is getting a fair amount of minutes. I, I think that's the best way to actually do it. Toppin, you're going to get screwed. I'm not going to even, like, lie to you. You're definitely going to be getting screwed right there. Before I do anything, let me make sure to change Kaminga's number. We're not going to disrespect Kawhi like that. Uh, let's go on the chain of Buddy's number. He can rock like 18. I don't really care. Um, Let's see. On the fly lineups. That's what I want. Right here. I, I want Drew Holiday right there. Kaminga right there. And Keldon right there. I think this provides us with the best bench lineup. And that is the best bench in the league. It says that we are rebuilding, but they are just lacking because last year we were a good team. We just added guys. They got us ranked as number 11. Regardless, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you go ahead and like it up and, of course, subscribe. This is the team. No one's playing insane amounts of minutes, so don't expect somebody to have the season that they had last year. He's probably going to still average around 18 points. Like, I don't see us having a guy scoring above 20 points a game because everything is so spaced out. Like, no one can really get off with that with that 20-plus points a game and be like that star anymore. That's probably not how it's going to work out. And even then, I, I still think that Kaminga's upside is still, like, there. I think that he's going to develop faster than Keldon Johnson will. Regardless, we're going to see how, how this thing works. I like this team, man. I really, really do. We got the Miami Heat in the season opener. This should be neat. Oh, they got Giannis. I didn't really see that. But regardless, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you go and like it up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Big moves, man. But I'm out. Peace, y'all.